What? I can only use one job? Oh man, that's gonna make the game harder. I'm not gonna buy that crap. Apparently, that's exactly what most of you were saying, and Square got tired of people bitching about this situation, so they made a move. In the original Zodiac Job Age, you could only pick one job per character. Unfortunately, a lot of people were not happy about this, so as of now, we can pick two jobs per character. Now, I have mixed emotions about this decision because I've already played this version of the game on PS2. The thought of combining two jobs together, I'm telling you, your characters are going to be extremely overpowered. Yes, your characters could only use one job, but that really did not matter because that one job that they were dedicated to, it was performed extremely well. Let's just imagine something for a moment. You're playing Final Fantasy X, the main plot line. You just made it to Lake Makalania. Orin is at the end of his grid, Tidus is at the end of his grid, and Lulu is at the end of her grid. That's what this is going to feel like. And I could be completely wrong about what I'm saying here. Maybe the reason why people were complaining about this is the fact that they don't want to be stuck on six jobs so that they can experience everything else in the game. Whatever the reason is, I wasn't too thrilled about this situation at first, but my buddy Ash 10 made a valid point. You see, there were indeed a lot of people complaining about being stuck to one job. Some people even said that if I could only use one job, I'm not buying this game. That really happened. And Square can't have that shit now, can they? Now that we can use two jobs per character, all of a sudden, everybody's a lot more interested in the game now. Square made a business decision. But in a way, let's get started. Those of you who followed me for a very long time, by now, you know how I roll when I play my games. This of course means for the most part, I will only be using Ash, Fran, and Pinello. Let's start with Ash. Most people use her as a mage of some sort, but me personally, I always have Ash as my main damage dealer. The Knight is the only job in the game that can use the Excalibur, and trust me, in the Zodiac job system, this thing is your best friend because of the damage cap removal. But here's the bad news, in this version of the game, you can't obtain it until you're strong enough to take down Ultima. Unless they change it of course. Pretty much every late game normal foe in the game gets one shot by this thing. But now it's even worse, because with the addition of a second job, this means I can now give her a job that lets her equip the white robes, which piles it up even more. And although that sounds very sexy, if you do this, you'll discover that it's not really needed. So instead, for Ash's second job, I'm going to have her as a monk. Monks have access to all of the HP lures, and they aren't blocked by anything. When it comes to the ultimate Esper, I always give it to Ash. This is very good for me because now, I can give her all three swiftness lures. Assuming you give them the correct espers, you also gain access to a few helpful white magic skills. Last but definitely not least, since she'll be a monk now, that will give her the ability to use pose. Why is that such a big deal? Because in the international version, pose hit airborne enemies. You didn't know this, did you? Black mages start out kinda slow, but later on, they become extremely overpowered. And every time they kill something, their MP fills right back up. It's basically infinite free cast. My black mage has always been Fran. For her secondary job, I'm going to make her an archer. That's what she normally is anyway, right? The archers also use light armor, which means she will now have very high HP. Archers also have all three swiftness lures. Penelo has always been my white mage. This of course means her HP will be very, very low. However, thanks to this change, that's no longer a problem. For her secondary job, I will make her a machinist. This will let her get a lot of HP lures without needing to use an Esper. Machinists also have all three swiftness lures, and white mages only have one. Machinists also have all three remedy lures. This pretty much makes Essena useless. This will also allow her to use guns. So in the rare event I need her to do physical damage, now she has a way. And here's the best part. If I give her the right Esper, she can gain access to the Hestigar spell. So those are the six jobs I'll be using, i will say about 90% of the game. As for the dudes, I will bring them out for those rare situations which I really need them. I don't normally use Bosch and Barthir until very late in the game when I'm preparing for Yazimat. Both Bosch and Barthir will have the exact same jobs. Their first job would be a Samurai. And for their second job, I would choose Breaker, which will also grant them access to both Wither and Expose. And it gets even better. In the original international version, Samurais did not have their Dreadline ability. 
Samurais have all three swiftness lures and Breaker gives them a good amount of HP. Some people might want to use another job so that they can use Brave Suits. Fortunately, there's a new item in the game known as Spirit of Low Town. It's basically a Brave Remote and it's quite easy to get. We're not done yet. There's a new Masamune in the game that only requires one hand. Why is this good? Because Breakers equip shields. So why am I using two Samurais? Because in this version of the game, there are two Geji Gloves. You didn't know this, did you? Oh, by the way, the Masamune is stronger now than it was before. Yasuma is going to get fucked up. As for Vaughn, I usually make him into a ninja. He has one primary job. Steal. Steal, 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 and steal some more. Ninjas have access to all potion lures and all remedy lures, so I use them as an emergency healer in case something horribly goes wrong. However, there are times when I just want to stare at Ash. For this reason, his secondary job would be a knight. He will basically be my knight for the early stages of the game, and when Ash joins, his main job will be a ninja. At the later stages of the game, I'll have him as a berserker knight while I'm farming items and staring at Ash's ass. Now you may have noticed that I'm missing three jobs, and some of you are saying, but DK, where's your time age? You don't have haste. Here's the thing guys, I would say haste is probably the only reason why you're even using a time age. I'm going to spend a lot of time in the Nobody's Deadlands killing goblins. Hey, guess what? They drop haste to moats. Red mages are okay, but if you got a black mage and a white mage, why do you need a red mage? But DK, they can use dark spells. Later on in the game, pretty much everything you fight is undead, so it's totally useless. And if for some reason I do need a dark element attack, guess what? Vaughn is a hunter, which means he can use the dark blade. Penella can use guns, which means she can use the dark shot. The last job I left out is the Yulin. Am I even saying that right? In my opinion, they really don't have anything good going for them. But DK, they got the Zodash Spear, the strongest weapon in the game. That's true, but here's something you may not know. In the international version, the Zodash Spear is a bitch to get. Do you know what the spawn rate of the chest is? 1%! Fuck that. But DK, you can get one in the outfitter shop. First of all, if you do it this way, you need all 30 trophies, and by then, you won't be using it. But more importantly, if you get it this way, this means I lose my free ribbon and my second pair of gadget gloves. No thanks. Now, my current combinations might not be the best ones, but this is going to open up a lot of new possibilities, and we are going to have to do a lot of experimenting on this. So although I don't completely approve of them making changes to the game just to make it easier for the new people, I am a little excited just thinking about how overpowered the characters are really going to be. I suggest you go to GameFAQs, look at the license boards, and start making your plans right now. Trust me, this isn't something you're going to decide overnight. So at first, everybody was bitching about how having only one job is going to make the game harder. But by the time you reach the hand mines, don't be surprised if people turn to 180 and suddenly start talking about how easy the game is and then you're going to be asking for a harder difficulty. Trust me, it's already easy enough as it is. I don't think you guys understand the severity of this change. Some of you are saying, is it that big of a deal? In the original game, you had access to everything. Yes, it is a big deal because in the Zodiac job age, your characters are a lot stronger. People were already complaining about how much harder the game is going to be, and you haven't even played this version of the game yet. In any case, this is going to completely change the way this game is played. I really want to know why this decision was made. But it doesn't matter. You're still going to get your ass handed to you by the judges. Thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you later. Take it easy.